All right, hello YouTube and YouTube subscribers. Um, today I'm bringing you a species profile on Cryptocorn Wendetti, also known as Crip Wendetti or simply as Bronze Crip. Now, um, this is a very popular crown plant. It's also very popular for beginners simply because it has low nutrient requirements, low lighting requirements, and it's reasonably hardy. It's a pretty hardy plant. Now, um, this plant likes a uh, water temperature between 20 to 30 degrees. It's uh, from Asia, I believe. It uh, likes to live in water with a pH of 5 to 7. And generally speaking, the water is low in nutrients and the water is actually soft. Now, um, one thing you want to keep in mind about this plant is its lighting requirements are very, very low. They're not particularly that demanding in terms of light, unlike its cousin, Crip Parva. Now, um, this plant, the best I've ever kept this plant was it was in a 10 gallon tank. And the actual lighting was these really cheap incandescent tubes that came with the 10 gallon tank. So, um, that lighting was basically not helping the plant that much. It wasn't that major a factor. And it, the plant was thriving in that lighting. Now, the reason why the plant was thriving was because crypts grow really, really well in high tannic water. They absolutely love it. High tannic water, which makes the lighting even worse, and the crypts will thrive in that. So high tank water is what crypts flourish in simply because they seem to be absorbing some of the nutrients from the tannins that uh, decaying wood and uh, driftwood and uh, leaves and dried leaves release. So um, another thing I want to recommend is when you get your crypts and they're in these uh, plant pots I get them in, either, and they're usually sold in pretty good looking bushels like that, just leave them in the pots. Leave them in pots like that. It reduces stress on the plants when you move them. You can also move the plants more frequently if they're like that. So, um, by doing that, usually when you get them in those plant pots, there's a bit of soil in there that'll provide the plant with some nutrients. Um, also, uh, crypts, they don't really need to be in a dirt tank like a lot of plants, but crypts benefit from being in a very mature substrate. Right now, my crypts look absolutely terrible. You want to see some good crypts, go to Dustin's channel and look at his. Um, so, uh, basically... The way I did grow those really good crypts was because I had the high tank water, I had very low lighting, and I had them in the, in the pots that they came in. And as soon as I took them out of those pots, they melted. And I could never get them back to that same ideal size that they were before, even though they're under higher lighting and a much larger tank. It was just be the stress for moving that caused that. So, um, other things about crypt... Cor crypt when Daddy is, it's uh, asexual for the most part. It reproduces via runners. Um, you can kind of see my crypt batch here. You can see there's the older, larger plants here and smaller, and then there's like younger plants here. Um, these plants are still kind of in stress for moving. They take quite a while to establish themselves, longer than most other plants I've seen. But overall, this is a very good beginner plant. It's a very good plant for aquascaping 10 gallon tanks as kind of a mid ground plant. And then your larger tanks, like your 50s and your 50 gallons or 75 gallons, it makes a good foreground plant. But keep in mind that crypts, usually when they melt, they shrink down to about 2 inches, but other times they're about 6 inches long. So, basically by keeping them in a bushel, like uh, clumps of say 6 or 7 large plants, it tends to give a nice, uh, rich, thick look to the group of crypts. And this is just a very good star plant. It's not very difficult, but I'm just saying, if you want to go crypts really well, you keep them in low lighting. Uh, like I can tell my tank, mine are at the edge of the tank where they're not in very high lighting. But I think the reason why my crypts just aren't growing that well is simply because I don't have enough tannin in my water. So that's all I can really say about bronze crypt. Good beginner plant. Don't worry too much about your lighting. Don't keep them under too high lighting. If you're using high lighting, make sure they're in a shaded area. I'm using a high output bulb, but I got a deep tank, and it's in the shade area also, and it's it's doing all right. It's not doing excellent though. So I'm going to have some images of really good looking crypts. I'll link you to a video of mine where I had very good looking crypts also. And I also recommend you checking out Dustin's fish tanks videos on crypts also. So thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.